Hello again, Traders. Right, um, this is the fourth, fifth attempt at this video. Um, I keep getting interrupted and good interruptions, phone calls from friends. So, um, for the, about the last two or three hours actually, but all the previous outtakes were um, also interruptions, but not uh, not so good as friends calling. But, um, but anyway, uh, this is the... Um, Taking a few trades, and I wanted to highlight this one, but uh, the GJ. Uh, 23 pips, 24 pips actually, um, taken through that pivot, and then, um, excuse me, about 45 pips down to the final take profit area, which was um, around here. I don't mention this enough. I try to highlight it, I just put one of those blue boxes on there. Um, I've mentioned it before, but old support levels, this is the daily pivot, the blue one, old ones attract price price like magnets as well and very few people would have mentioned this um, when I was studying pivot point trading and I really really didn't um, ever trade pivot points alone but I realized obviously the importance of them the more I watch charts developing the 2b reversal into the 3cr and then adding the multi time frame momentum aspect of things um, so now I'm at the point where my entries are for me, second to none. I cannot, I can't imagine I can improve on them. You know, little things like this add, added to the charts will help, and maybe the pivot point indicator that uh, Nick Bixby does um, alongside this may well. It's it's more powerful than this, I think. It's it's just got a mass of different um, uh, settings. So uh, one day um, I will be looking into that as well. But anyway. Um, you can see this is almost identical and that was the point of making this particular video it was post the US um, open uh, stocks open 230 UK it was um, so I got back from a walk nearly got soaked through but just got home in time to beat the rain but it's you know look at the how, how similar these two trades look this one was uh, better to look at on the 30 minute. So um, post, this one's post Frankfurt. You know, we've got the divergence in there as well. These divergence levels relate to uh, the um, the later trade, the GJ. But we had divergence here. We could draw it from here to here. Higher high, making lower highs and there. And um, I mentioned the MACD it's not such a great divergence indicator and i'll just finish talking about this one basically came into the market we've got this and i have this saying that i use a lot on my twitter feed and in past recent more recent videos because i keep improving is that this is there is no way i can consider long here no way you know we've had we've had the new and this is really really important you know this is sort of the new the new stuff as it were we've had a new m30 closed down with strong momentum it's red now there's no way i can trade against the red <clears throat> unless it's you know a, a one minute chart and uh, we're getting we're using a five minute um fast reversal to the long side and you can see that was tradable perfectly tradable um there's we're gonna have to do one-on-one -on -one sessions and um, you know sadly uh, it's not going to be able to be free I've been I've been looking at uh, the possibility of doing um, rooms but I've never ever ever liked that situation because um, you know you can get uh, lots of abuse going on in there abuse of the actual people there's all the involvement of you know of, of room members getting abused by other members uh, the uh, room holder as it were me getting abused from people it's just too it's not a nice feeling and there's no need for it I don't have to you know subject myself to that but there is no way I can get the same amount of um, focus across to newer traders without going down that route and I watched a real professional trader yesterday all certified and everything and he was saying the, the exact same thing and I think uh, a good uh, pal of mine on online 
has spoken to you know people like or talked to if i'm if i'm correct in remembering people like Sperandio and Sperandio told him you know you got to charge you just got to charge people there's no reason you should give stuff away and this guy yesterday i, I watched he said exactly the same thing now whether they are just doing it to justify themselves but i get it there is i've always got it there's perceived value free is worthless and um which is you know why not charge for your stuff i've criticized traders all the way but having said that that was a long time ago and it was really directed towards the obvious uh, scammers um the guys with less than five or ten years at least uh under their belts you know five months they know everything they don't know anything actually and as i've said many times and i'm sorry to preach again guys you um you have to train your brain over years this trading game is you know pluck a percentage out of the air let's say 10 percent learning patterns and 90 percent teaching yourself not to trade on adrenaline not to go for that one extra trade not to make the stupid mistakes and um you know all the other stuff that you have to know and that's screen time thousands and thousands of hours there is no so just just the other thing i keep saying now is we all make mistakes we all dive in with whatever stupid amounts of cash we need to make stupid trades you know everyone online spouts five thousand pound trades one thousand pound trades whatever or dollars whatever you want to call it and in order to do that you've got to put 40 or 50 or 60 grand in your trading account or maybe more and in order to do that you run the risk of losing the lot and i can't tell you how many times i've blown all of those capital figures you know so don't do it so you know i was only thinking this on the walk this afternoon i could you know i could charge you two grand and i would save you 50 grand or two hundred thousand pounds so you know when you look at it like that you might think i'm just trying to justify things but it's real i wish someone had drummed that into me way back way back never ever put money live real money into trading until you can hold a demo account or a paper trade or whatever you want to call it you know and one of the best ways is to trade um you know these uh free um uh what are they called uh, funding people's accounts uh, all these different methods now trade those because their rules are there to kill you and if you can trade following their rules they have actually they are actually a beneficial um tool in your toolbox but, but don't go buy this is the other thing don't go spending a grand or whatever it is on these uh, funding accounts get the tiniest one you know because you're going to lose you know you're going to lose 50 50 funding accounts i've got photo shots of people that have lost 60 70 grand by doing hundreds of those funding accounts um, because they can't even trade so it's no different than the scenario with you putting if you've got your 50 grand putting your 50 grand and blowing it or 200 grand there are horrendous stories people losing their houses losing their families losing everything so don't do it guys you know find someone that knows what they're doing talking about and you know let them advise you whether it's me whether it's uh you know some other um guy with 10 20 30 years under his belt whatever and who says the same as i'm saying really because uh it couldn't be true and i wish someone said it to me anyway i digress so basically there is no way i can consider going long so just wait patiently for the shorts and even this pullback on the higher time frame i haven't checked this but even that pullback to the long side was yeah there you go it's against the um the power of the momentum you know you can get little scalps in here but if i 
take that trade and I look at that and I look over here and that's all telling me shorts are good and I look here and the higher time frames telling me shorts are good then I'm ready for it when I get in first thing I do is open that and see if I can if it's ready for my short so I had a lay in this morning we've had a really late night last night um, I watched this 30 minute and this is what I look for now I'm looking for this situation or this for a long you know grey to green that for a long and then I know when that's closed green all I've got to do or this is closed red all I've got to do is wait for the break below that bar on multiple time frames with the exact right uh, correct which is meaning looking left again and I know I can trade the break of the higher that bar because that is my trigger bar you know that actually was the trigger bar there and there was a damn good move above that bar because I've messed up so many times I would normally go into dig, dig deep into that exact entry but I don't really need to because you can you know you can see what you, you watch this video pause it rewind pause it rewind forward and stuff like that you can then see what was the perfect entry long on here so I've done two or three things I've shown you two trades the exact same way I've shown you what I wait for I didn't really want to go long I will go long because I can scalp up down and sideways as I say now using the 10 second and 15 second charts timing it using this thing and this thing or even my own computer clock or my watch or my arm I can see what's going on <coughs> excuse me it's in my head now it's, it's never going to go away well not unless uh, god forbid dementia and stuff but we won't worry about what we can't do anything about so let's have a look at this gj pound yen got the triple divergence on this one i remember from a previous video all three that's why these were all three on here in a previous video i said i wasn't really that uh that um worried about macd because it really shows divergence really and then lo and behold the next trade i look at seriously the damn thing has uh diverged higher high and even if you take the line chart high that's a higher high lower high lower high lower high that is just mind-blowing for me you know and hopefully you're taking from this the positives you know we're, we're, there's so much i could talk about here those are the buyers higher high higher high that have been overwhelmed by the sellers with everything every tool in our rule book as it were tool in a toolbox rule in a rule book but momentum what was i just saying about that close i know i've got to have you know i love the 3cr and the 3cr was part of this learning process there's one there with uh you know the higher momentum even not even a red candle but we get the pullback gray green and important to mention this because i mentioned it in the previous video these don't repaint the worst indicators you can use although some people say they could trade them i'm not even going to go down that road are the ones that print that bar it's closed and then for some weird reason you flip time frames and it's gone that is a repainting indicator bad I presume it's just badly coded, badly thought out. You you get, you know, I've ranted on about this all week so far. What are we, Thursday? People complain about indicators lagging. If one single person that you follow tells you indicators don't work or they lag, just ask them what the heck they think a uh, candle is. A candle. You know, a candle goes down and goes up and goes down and goes up. This one might even turn green in its 60-minute life. You don't sit there and call that a lagging indicator. You just say that's what candles do. Well, that's what these do. You know, I use the expression flicker. If that starts to flicker, 
it means the calculations are saying somewhere along the line on the lower time frame that has closed red potentially and all I have to do is flip down to the 30 minute and it will most likely have closed red so then I've got my 30 minute trigger and all the flickering going on on the hourly is just the pullback on that 30 minute you know it takes a long time especially me I think I'm super super slow takes a long time for all these ideas just to come to fruition and then when they do because you trust that and you trust that and you trust I trust the three CR because I know what it is and two CRs and I trust the candles I know tons about these candles you know as I said in the previous take I've learned I've forgotten more than most people have learnt um, you know that's a hammer that's a long wick some will tell you, oh, we should be looking for the short. And, you know, people with under six months or under five years experience will be saying, oh, yeah, Wickfield. Maybe. Maybe this, maybe that. There was a guy yesterday I looked at online. He was an idiot. He he said on his, on his intro, on his thumbnail, whatever you want to call it, he said this is the same time every day, one trade. And I know I digress, but I watched that entire video. He talked to a load of rubbish there are a few good bits and and that's worth mentioning here not just about because i'm not mentioning any names but one word will change your life one phrase can change your life so you know take away from what people say process it sleep on it whatever walk on it and uh, you can never stop learning except the people there was this was actually uh Robin Brown or Rob whatever Strat the Strat he used to say you do you, you you do stop learning these idiots say you never stop learning he said you know and he used to have a good old rant he used to make me laugh but he was wrong on that one 1000% wrong and I did actually have a go at him a couple of times on Twitter and whatnot on his YouTube channel um, not that he took any notice of me but it was wrong to tell traders that you can only learn so much and then you stop because basically at that point I think he was trying to build a cult uh, but having said that the strat I love you know it's a candlestick uh, trading system in fact I always mean to go back to that I did go back recently a little bit and ran I'm sort of going off topic again I know I know but everyone you know um, the strat is fantastic got so many good uh ideas going on and they're still going on but um i learn from them and apply them to what i do you know i've always said this along all all the time if i say something that is don't do this don't do that then apart from following ict and you know getting involved with cults uh that getting i'm gonna say don't get involved with cults do not get involved with peer pressure go your own follow your own path build your own path so those are the only real don'ts never say don't use trend lines don't use uh uh moving averages don't use bollingers don't use all the other stuff people use never say that because there is they are they've been around for lots longer than i have and they've worked for lots longer than I have. So I did use, I admit, I did used to say to people, don't do certain things. And various traders, I said this maybe in one of the outtakes because I've taken so many, not loaded so many. Lots and lots of traders used to say to me, do what I say, do not digress, do not this, that and the other. And I think I might pr produce this one, actually uploaded it. But, you know, that's wrong. It's easy for me to say, but I think it came from a right place. They weren't all just trying to provide cults and make you sign up for, some majority probably were, trying to get you to sign up for the monthlies or the yearlies or, you know, the bigger discount for three years when all you need is three weeks to learn a pattern and then build on it. But I am I know for a fact some were doing it to try to reduce the amount you had to learn and i do agree with that to a point this is all you need and that's all you need
and you know the three CR because these are these are real things that I've analysed happen time and time and time again. You know, just sewn two totally different trades on two totally different instruments, and I could show you probably five or six easily, ten easily, doing the same thing every time. And the arrow isn't important. I should always mention that. Although, if you do it without the arrow, be very careful you've got your analysis right. You know, and it could be, uh, uh, the jury's out on this, it could be worth just, just waiting for the arrow and then watching the pullbacks and waiting to trade that. And don't, you know, you could easily say to yourself, don't trade if there's no arrow there. But um, you build your own rules. I've said this many, many times as well. Screen time and build your own rules. Uh, we've got some superb tools here, currently free, but um, not necessarily forever. I need to talk to all the coders about that, if any of them do actually watch any of my videos. wouldn't blame them if they don't. They don't need to. They're clever, clever people. So anyway, um, this is looking interesting again. I mentioned Wix again. You know, this is looking very interesting in terms of bullishness now. And it's coming off a great big... Uh, supply and demand zone right through there notice you know i've said this many times i'm not all anal about getting particular about the levels it's uh, these are zones just like that was a zone um but again you learn that from experience but what this may well do and i talked about this in one of the outtakes as well is a three um swing reversal up so it could go like that let's put a new one like that and that is three swings low high high low high high that's an inside bar but don't worry too much about that even if you said okay low high high low and this breaks that via pip micro pip i'm talking about one decimal point that is a, a swing a three swing pullback at the moment it's not so before even considering shorting this, I'd want to see a three swing pullback, then I'd want to see this doing the same thing again in terms of turning red and all the other time frame, multi time frame analysis. So I have digressed quite a lot, but there's quite a lot of new information on just on these two little trades. Um, but, you know, what can I say? I did say to you, I know the direction, I know I can go for a walk, I know I can come back, and I know, you know, I could go away for another two hours, have some dinner out, and come back, and this is just set up exactly as I expected it to. This would be an ascending trend line. And, uh, you know, I throw these things on. There's, there's, I think that's what I was talking about, actually. Low, high, high, low, high, high. Three swing pullback. And uh, I could connect that and that, the two lows of the candles. And Bob's your uncle, as it were. So, um, guys, you can't, you know, you have to do the screen time. There's no, no way around it. Anyone tells you differently, they're wrong. You never stop learning. That's true as well. Anyone tells you differently, they are wrong. Um, and... Um, Charts repeat and repeat and repeat. Look left. But all of these trades are qualified. I can't go long. That's the easy qualification. I can't go long here and I can't go short here. You know, can't go short. Can't go short. Well, I can. This, this is slightly different, but we won't go down that road, that rabbit hole. But I cannot go long. You know, this, is, this was never long. Um... Unless I'm trading a five minute green bar and a one minute um, entry. That's it. Simple as that. It could not be simpler. Trading, what we do here is common sense. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful um, Thursday evening. Sun's out. I'm going to go for another short walk and then go and get something to eat. Have a good evening.